Hey, wife. Yeah, babe. Uh, I am going to get a new hat. <laughs> what? Uh, what? It, it, it's a bit pricey. Okay. But it's going to be worth it. You have a lot of hats. I know. It, it's the ultimate camping outdoor hat. Okay, but can we make this the last hat for a long time? Yes. I okay. promise it'll be the last hat. Sounds good. So if you're new to the channel, uh, we are Katie and Scott. We are seeking a life of adventure through full-time RV, but we're not quite there yet. In the meantime, we do a lot of product reviews, uh, especially geared towards camping products and outdoor products. So we've got a lot of stuff like that. If that's interesting to you, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And if the video was helpful, give us a thumbs up, please. So here we are one year later with my Tilly T3 Wanderer. And how do I like it? Still love it. It's still a fantastic hat. It is still my go-to hat whenever we go somewhere, especially um, anywhere outside. Uh, it has held up extremely well. You can see it's in very good shape. I have worn this thing um, all summer, all spring, all fall, and into part of the winter. <laughs> it has been fantastic. I've had it crushed up, thrown it in my pocket, thrown it in backpacks, it stayed in the hot truck, it stayed in the cold camper. Um, it has fallen into so many streams and waterfalls along with me um, and still survived. Still smells good too. Um, I haven't had to do any real maintenance to it. Uh, there's a wax that you can buy to kind of reseal it. I haven't had to do that yet. It's still very, very water resistant. Uh, you can see the strings have held up real well. Um, pockets, everything. I mean, it, it's just in fantastic shape. I love this hat and it is still my, my go-to hiking hat and camping hat. So the T3, still fantastic, still love it. But now we've become a Tilly family. Um, after the promise of only one hat, uh, Katie saw how well this one held up, how well it did for us out and about, or how well it did for me, and decided she wanted one of her own. So I was wrong. I thought that a hat is a hat is a hat, and that somebody had too many hats. But then I got this Tilly hat, and I'm not a hat person, but I love the bees, and I love this hat. I'm just kidding, this is actually the first, the first bee that has loved my hat, but I love this hat, and I love to wear it anytime we go out and do anything. It's very comfortable, it's easy to wear, it doesn't feel like I have a hat on my head and I can avoid the sun right here. So Tilly hat gets a big thumbs up from me. So we ended up with these two hats shortly after, um, probably about halfway through the camping season last year. And these things have been great. Um, they're not quite as waterproof or water resistant as the, the Wanderer, um, but they do have some water resistance and you can add the wax to these as well. Um, you can see the, this is the cotton bucket hat. It's in good shape. Katie's worn it most of the camping season last year. Uh, it's got the snap up brims. It's got the wind straps, the chin and the back. And it's also got the little pocket here. Um, so this has been a great hat for her. Um, it's also got the UV resistance and all that other stuff to help keep the sun off. Um, snap it up to increase visibility or brim stiffness, whatever been a great hat. She's loved it very much. This little guy is called the My First Tilly, right? It's a great little marketing gimmick for them, uh, but it's actually a great hat. So it's at a reduced price from the other hats. Um, doesn't quite cost as much and they still has the Tilly guarantee. So if you, if you lose it or if it breaks, um, they will replace it at a reduced cost for you. Uh, they are really kind of a one size fits all for the the My First Tilly. They do have a couple different color options. Um, but you can see there's a drawstring in the back. And that actually cinches here around the child's head to hold it tight. So it doesn't have the wind cords underneath. Um, and it's not as water resistant as the Wanderer. But again, you could put the wax on it if you wanted to. This is held up well. Um, our child is 
very tough on all articles of clothing and pretty much he's tough on everything. <laughs> and you can see this has survived. Um, this is his go-to hat now. He wears this all the time, even on short trips over to grandma's house. So this thing has been pretty fantastic. So as much as I love my Wanderer, the weather started getting colder and it wasn't working quite as well for me. Um, and that's when I realized it really isn't an all season hat and decided that we should look at Tilly again and see what kind of winter hats they had. We came across this um, tech wool hat. So it's not really waterproof or nearly as water resistant. Um, it's kind of got that, that natural uh, wool water resistance and it did keep the snow off. This is very, very warm. Um, I think it looks nice too, right? And as a bonus, it's got ear flaps. So yes, it looks a little dorky, but my ears are warm. Um, and here in the Midwest, you know, when we get those cold snowy weathers, the, the wind does tend to kick up. And this was a blessing this winter. I was really happy to have it. We got one of these for Malcolm who wore it to, to death over the winter and looked uh, awesome doing it. And Katie got her little beanie hat that she really liked, kept her warm and it's got a little pocket up top. I don't think she used the pocket for anything. Maybe you put your keys in there or credit card or something, but, uh, but it's got a pocket as all Tilly hats do. Even this uh, tech wool hat has a little pocket in here with the ear flaps. So these things have been great. And then we have the latest addition to the family, which is the Paddler's hat. Now, why did I get the Paddler's hat, you ask? Well, it's a little different from the T3. It's a lot different, actually. Um, it's got a, the nylon cord here that tucks up. It's got a little, uh, little cord keeper there. Um, and then it's got the uh, pocket and all that still, but it's a mesh inside. It's a very lightweight hat. The, um, the Wanderer is a canvas hat. It's very thick, very durable. This one's more of a, almost a polyester. And it's very, very water resistant. It doesn't need the wax on top of it. It's just a natural water resistant um, uh, material. And it's a lot more lightweight. So in those really, really hot days, um, this one is gonna actually keep my head a little bit cooler than the Wanderer. If I had one complaint about the Wanderer, other than it not being a super awesome winter hat, is that in the really, really hot, stagnant days, and there's not a lot of wind movement, um, you know, it, it did tend to, to get a little hot on top of my head. So I think something like this is gonna be good, and I'm really hoping to spend a lot more time on the lakes and the rivers this year, uh, hopefully not falling in, and I think this is gonna be the perfect hat for it. So to summarize, we're now a Tilly family. We love the Tilly hats. Uh, once you get a quality hat like a Tilly hat, all other hats um, really just feel cheap and that's okay sometimes, but we know these are gonna last a lifetime and that's, that's awesome. I'm not saying there aren't other brands out there that could fit the bill and be as good a quality, but we've really enjoyed the Tilly brand. They, they back it up um, and you can just see that through all the reviews and customer comments over the last you know, 20, 30 years that they've been around. Um, still going to have this as my go-to hat. This will be my new summer lightweight water hat. And um, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, let us know, Put, drop a comment down below. Uh, I did wanna say the, I keep getting comments about the T6 Airflow hat as being the ultimate hat. I know it's one of Tilly's best sellers, if not their best seller. That will be my next purchase. Sorry, wife. Um, but I will be trying that one out at some point in the near future. Anyhow, uh, that's going to wrap it up for us. Check out some of our other videos, our original Tilly review video. We've got um, reviews of the different fire pits and other camping essentials, things that, that you guys might enjoy. So thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.